Hi everyone and welcome to Leicester City Centre. Today my husband James and I, there he is, I'm just looking him up and down. <laughs> We've come into the city to visit our little jewellers because we wanted some advice on some of my jewellery, in particular my wedding rings. I had recently been having a clear out at home and had found the original receipts and it prompted me to think whether they need revaluing um, as we've now been married for over 23 years so their value may or may not I guess uh, have changed especially for sort of insurance purposes and we thought seeing as we very rarely come into the city we'd have a little look around this is our little jewellers it's the most quaint and charming little shop their pretty window is freshly dressed each morning, so there is always something new to see. Inside is honestly no bigger than a cupboard, but it is very traditional with lots of Victorian and Edwardian pieces, trinkets and curiosities, as well as lots of vintage and antique pieces. It's just heavenly. Unfortunately, they didn't have time to carry out the valuation today, so we've booked to go back in January. But they did suggest my rings were sent off for a professional deep clean and a sort of MOT for jewellery, because other than me washing the dishes in hot soapy water, they'd never been properly cleaned, and I was reassured they'd come back looking like new. So keep watching to the end of this video and you can see the results. Oh goodness me, look at all the beautiful rings. I particularly love the antique ones. They seem to hold so much personality and charm. So we spotted this little Italian deli on the way to the jewellers, so let's go and grab a coffee. So whilst we sat and waited for our coffees, I thought I'd show you the original receipts. This is my engagement ring from 1997, £675. That was quite a lot of money back then. Um, so yeah, that was, James chose it on his own. I didn't know who was going to propose. And this is a receipt for our wedding bands. As you can see, that's April 2000 and we got married in the June. And then this one was for, well, I guess people would call it a push present. It was a slightly extravagant gift just a few months before I gave birth to our first child. And she's only a few months away from turning 21. And this ring was £295 in 2002, so quite a bit of money. And then this receipt was for some diamond earrings that you can see from the date, typical husband type behaviour were purchased on Christmas, well, the day before Christmas Eve, um, a year after our second child was born, and he, by the way, will soon be turning 18. And that was the end of us buying fine jewellery because money then was about spawning the children each Christmas, and of course, any spare money we had always went on the house. Now, I'll be honest, I've probably only worn these earrings a few times because I was so worried about losing them. The lady in the shop gave me a good talking to about wearing them and enjoying them as opposed to them sitting in a box. So tell me in the comments whether you save things for best or take pleasure in wearing them on a daily basis. Honestly, this croissant was the best I've ever eaten and bearing in mind we visited France in the summer. It was warm and flaky and filled with a pistachio cream. It was absolutely delicious. Anyway, I thought we'd go and look around the shops at all the Christmas decorations. I'm unsure whether to have a new colour scheme this year or whether just to collect a few new pieces. There's nothing that makes me feel more Christmassy than looking at all the decorations. Thank you. 
first stop here is TK Maxx, of course. One of my favourites. Now I did buy these lovely green bells but I'm regretting not getting that cushion. I've been after a new winter coat and before trying this one on in H&M I just bought a long grey one from Primark which I'll show you on me in a minute but this was a great find, nice colour and style and it had been greatly reduced but they only had a large left which initially felt like a good fit until I belted it and it kind of scrunched up too much around the middle, it's such a shame. And this is the grey one, what do you think? I'm not sure, let me know what you think. Oh, I just love looking around John Lewis. Their Christmas shop is stunning. I could have wandered around here for at least two hours. Every single colour you could imagine, from brights to more subtle, sophisticated ones, it all made me feel just so unbelievably festive. And here we are one week later and my rings are back from their deep clean and they literally look like brand new rings. They must have been so unbelievably filthy. And please excuse my old hands and wrinkly knuckles. Why does age show so much in your hands? I need recommendations on a good hand cream, I think. But I'm so pleased with them. Of course, they are just modest rings, I know, but they mean something to me. And the amethyst in particular has come up really well. It's glowing. I'm thrilled with how they've turned out. enjoyed this mini vlog and I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a like. It really does make a big difference.
wishing you all a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you soon.